Hello! Um, it's crafting again today, but it's a bit different today because it's just going to be me because um, mum has hurt her back. She's fine, she just needs rest, so I'm going to be making the things and also trying to film it. So you may have to bear with a little bit, but today I'm going to be I'm going to be building, rebuilding some pipes. So I've got some broken bowls, I've got some uh, broken like decorative stems, I've got the mouthpieces, and I'm going to be making a mould of this head and hopefully building my own clay pipe heads because as if you've watched our videos before you know that all I want to find is a clay pipe that has a head as a bowl. And they, it's eluded me so far, so I've decided I'm just going to build my own. So, uh, fingers crossed, let's see how this goes. Okay, so I have some wire and some wire cutters to stick the stems together. I'm going to make a couple of pipes, so I picked this piece first because it's got like a really pretty leaf design on it. And then I found this piece which looks like it could have been from the same pipe, it's the same colour as well. And then I found this tiny piece of mouthpiece which is the same colour. So it all worked quite well. So I'm going to be cutting the wire and sticking it in and then super gluing it to keep the stem together. My mould has dried now, so I'm going to be putting a layer of Vaseline inside so um, it doesn't stick too much, so it doesn't stick and I can put it out easily. That didn't work. Okay. Okay. 
It is too much Vaseline. I think I've got to stick it in more. Let's try this. worked a little bit better. A little bit. Um, I might take that for now. I'll accept that as as one of them. I'll clean up some of the excess Vaseline. Do that on this one. Okay. So the only problem with the Vaseline is now it's super slippy. To wait for it because one of the things about Sculpey is that um, not Sculpey one of the things about Milliput is that when you get it wet you can sculpt it like um, like clay it becomes much more clay like which is very useful a lot of the time but at the moment because of all the Vaseline they used to make it not stick it is um quite liquidy. I guess I need to get him out of the sun because he's slightly melting. Not a good thing to do on a hot day. Okay, right, I'm going to shape him to about where I would like him to go. Then I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to leave him in the shade and um, let him dry a bit to stop him from melting, hopefully. So I'll put him under the table. How sweaty the poor man is, so I'm gonna leave him and hopefully he won't dry, but just for the Vaseline to dry a bit so I can shape him and re recreate his face a bit more. So, one thing I have learnt is do not use that much Vaseline. <laughs> so, that's good, that's nice to know. This one should go better. So, I'm taking the two part middle part and I'm going to smush them together. all of the Vaseline off. I can no longer remember which side is the top. So. That would have been perfect, but I made a hole in his, in his eye. You may have noticed that the camera work looks a bit different for this point. My dad has taken pity on me struggling to try and make something whilst um, crafting, so he's silently filming some shots. Thank you. 
Jesus. It's still so <laughs> Okay. Um I might be able to fix him. I think it's difficult because I've chosen to do it on a hot day and um, it's generally quite... significantly easier when it's not got the Vaseline sweats so this one might be okay question is do I leave his fez I think I will makes it interesting is even though they're from the same mold they look like two different men they look like brothers I mean there's clearly a family resemblance but they're different so if, even though it's a molding from the same head they'll still all be unique because they'll all be made different times different ways his moustache has gone too which is interesting <laughs> try and get his moustache back his hat one thing again with milliput which is good is when it's dry you can sand it down so I think I oh, will sand I would just sand his hat down instead of trying to take it off but now I'm going to go get some water I'll leave him out of the sun and him to try and brush out the cracks trying to rebuild his face a little bit, add some more definition to it. Obviously there's still something, there's a big dent in his forehead. Then there's, oh, no, no, no. Oh, and then there's this fella, who is a bit more, he looks a bit more like the head. Have I just flattened his face? No. But yeah, I still need this, there's still a little work still left to do. Put to um, seal the cracks in the where I've connected the different pipe stem bits and where I've connected it to the pipe bowl.
So um, I let them dry overnight. It is um, thunderstorming outside again, so we're back in the dining room. But we are not alone in the dining room. This this little fella is uh, <laughs> lives here at the moment. This is what uh, my dad has been doing in lockdown. He has been building a dodo skeleton. <laughs> so. I'm so, here too. Mum is here. She has rested. She's still not 100%, but she's okay to sit and film. It took a little while. For a little while. So, I am going to be. I've mixed my colours. I'm using oil paints, with, and I'm gonna paint paint these guys. Yellow okra, 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 um, titanium white, and sienna, and dyke brown. No, I did not use burnt sienna. Oh, it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. He was sick. No. Yeah, I have burnt sienna ready, but I didn't use it. <laughs> run out of charge so I guess I'll see you when I've uh, I'll put it on charge and carry on painting and then I'll bring you back Come on. okay so this is day three of um, craft and it's actually um Thursday today so uh, this is this was this morning for you 